welcome to my bookshelf and today I'll be doing my review for The Unseen World by Liz Moore. And full disclosure, I originally filmed this video like a month ago when I actually, you know, read this book. But I no longer have a copy of it because it was a library book and my first version of this video was not up to my own standards and so I decided to refilm it. But of course now I don't have the book. So you just get a lovely stock footage of it. Um, but yeah, so because I am filming this later, I now finally have my rating system in place, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'll probably continue to update like the categories um, that I choose to kind of rate each book on, but as of right now, I've chosen four different categories where I rate this book specifically on four different categories and then I average them together to get my overall star rating so my star rating isn't so arbitrary, which it felt like before. So let's just jump on in and uh, let's just start with the synopsis because that's always a good place to start. So for those of you who have not read the book, first off, I will not spoil anything because I do not do that in my reviews. That is just cruel and unusual. Um, I'm just going to give you a general plot synopsis, which I will say in this case really does not do justice to the book. Just saying, like, the plot is pretty straightforward and simple, but there's a lot more going on. But the plot is as such. Um, our main character, Ada, she's about 13-ish at the beginning of the book, and she's been homeschooled ho her whole life by her father, David. Side note, um, her homeschooling is a lot more isolated than typical homeschooling is, at least nowadays. Um, I have family members who can attest to that. Um, so yeah, she literally has had virtually no <laughs> contact with peers her own age. Um, she spent quite a bit of time with other adults. Um, her father is in charge of this lab, and so she gets to see uh, the people that he works with. And so she's pretty comfortable there and with adults, but um, she's not very comfortable with people, people her own age. And David is a very intellectual type, and he's tried his best to instill this in his daughter Ada. And so they're almost constantly kind of in learning mode. And he just, he enjoys teaching her and giving her puzzles to solve. And um, he's really big into like computer science, if you will, and coding, um, and just science in general. He tries to teach those things to his daughter. Towards the beginning of the book, I'm not going to say what exactly, but something happens. And it kind of puts into question who David really is is like is he really the person that he has said that he is and so most of the book is kind of the exploration of this mystery and trying to figure out you know why is David's uh, past um, that he's always told everyone is true doesn't seem to hold up um, and they're trying to figure out like why you know like what is he hiding what why is this the way that it is and you know who David really is that kind of stuff um, an interesting thing to note um, is that <clears throat> David hired someone to be a surrogate for Ada so Ada has never met her birth mother has had no contact with her and so I say it like that because David is like literally her entire world and so just having this question appear you know that's like questioning his integrity, if you will. It's not something that she takes lightly um, because, like I said, David is everything to her. Besides the fact that, of course, like this is her father, but it means even more to her than I think the average person because he has been like one of the only people that she sees on a regular basis. Um, she does meet and see the people at his lab, but it's not really quite the same connection that she has with her father. So, obviously, when uh, people are trying to question um, who he ha who he is and who he's been saying he is and things like that. Um, that's not exactly something that you're going to take lightly. And so this is something that she struggles with throughout the book. And um, yeah, it's really about her growing up and coming to terms with um, this mystery and who her father is. So that being said, let me jump into my rating scales to give you a better picture of why I like this book so much. So the first category is writing. I think that this is an extremely well-written book. 
I, I was just engaged throughout. There's a decent amount of narration through our main character so we get like insight into her mind and what she's thinking and what's normal for her and just her experience so far um, as far as like what her world looks like. Going along with that, I think that the pacing made sense. Um, it's definitely a more slow paced book compared to like YA books. YA books tend to be pretty fast paced. This is a little slower paced but it's not a drag um, and it explores a lot of really interesting themes that again I was not expecting to explore in this book and so it just it made it a better reading experience because of that. So yeah, the writing was great. I have really no complaints about it. So I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I have nothing bad to say about the writing. Another thing about the writing that again I was not fully expecting was just like how cohesive the story was and how everything connected um, in a way that again I was not expecting and it's just it's just wonderful to see that um, there's definitely a lot of planning that went into this book and it's very evident when you read it. The next category is characters and I would say that the character development in this book is really well done. You get a very good sense of all of our characters and what they're like and, you know, what their experiences are. And I just think it's really, really well done. And, um, yeah, especially in a book about identity and who we are and all of that, like, characters are super important. And I think that the characters felt like real people, experiencing real emotion, real uh, feelings and it was just again really well done and ultimately they were interesting characters to follow which is also a super important thing when reading a book um, and yeah so the characters are super engaging I felt they're very fleshed out and developed throughout the book you slowly get to know them like you would normal people so yeah the characters were fantastic and I also gave that five out of five stars the next category is theme and this book is one of the reasons why I decided to add the category theme because theme is really really important to me. I'm realizing that the more I read and as I'm talking about books more. The theme and the message of the story definitely like for me it elevates the book to a whole new level and makes it something that I want to reread, re-experience, and also share with other people. If the theme falls short then like it might be an enjoyable read but it might not be necessarily a worthwhile read for everyone or at least you know I mean it just depends on who you are as a reader but for me I like having both kinds of books but ultimately the books that stick with me more are books with really well developed themes and really good messages. And so this book has a lot of fantastic themes and sadly, I mean, other than this whole idea of identity and discovery and trying to figure out who you are um, and how who you are is affected by who your parents are and who you're uh, surrounded by in your environment and things like that, um, I really can't say much to the other themes because they give away important plot points. So there's a lot of other themes that come up, but like I said, I can't say them without ruining things. So just take my word for it. There's a lot of great themes in here that develop over time. And again, you don't necessarily expect it to go that way, but once it does, it makes perfect sense. And it just, again, it all flows together. It's very cohesive. It's just really well done, I thought. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of really cool themes in here. So I, needless to say, gave this also five out of five stars theme. Like I said, I think it's really well done and there's a lot of really important themes in here. And the last category is enjoyability, so how much I personally enjoyed reading this book, um, which surprisingly, I think I'm going to give it four out of five stars. I mean, overall, obviously, I really, really enjoyed it. I would say the beginning and the end are fantastic. There's a couple points in the middle where like my drawability tanked just a little bit, not that I ever like didn't like it, but yeah, just a couple parts where I was like, okay. <laughs> but I mean, it all makes sense and it really, it all fits together with the theme, the plot and everything. Um, I think the parts that I was probably like slightly like whatever about <laughs> is like the teenage theme, but it's not bad. It's just like compared to the rest of it, it dipped a little bit. So, I mean, I don't know how to rate that. I don't know. There's just like a couple of scenes about like, again, the typical teenage experience that 
you know, you read a lot in other books about teenagers that it's like, okay, like at this point, I feel like I've just read too many books about like teenage experience. So to me at this point, like it doesn't hold the same weight and meaning anymore, but it does feel real to the teenage experience to me. So like while my enjoyability, like it dipped just like a little bit, it didn't like completely go off the rails because it was realistic. I just personally, like I'm just over being a teenager. I have been for a while and so I don't necessarily enjoy revisiting it that much. So maybe that's why. Um, but yeah, the rest of the book, I absolutely enjoyed all of it and I just thought it was really interesting. And I think the unique parts of the book really stand out to me and are like really enjoyable. So then when you get to like more of the traditional teenage plot points, it's just pretty standard, um, but not bad. Just, I mean, there's only so many different ways that you can tell it. And I, I still like that there was a different lens that, we're, that we were experiencing the teenage experience through because of her unique upbringing. Um, there was kind of that fish out of water, but to an interesting extreme. But if I have to be honest, those parts weren't necessarily as fun for me personally to read, but they really are not that bad. So I gave it four to five stars because there were some plot points I was like, okay, about. <laughs> but most of the book, I would say, is like highly enjoyable, but like obviously a whole book, I don't know. I think it's hard to get like five out of five for enjoyability. Like obviously there's parts that you're not going to enjoy as much, but overall the reading experience was fantastic for me. So, if you total up all my ratings, you will see, which should be pretty obvious, that this is a five-star rated book for me. I absolutely love this book. It's a book that I want to add to my collection because I don't own it because I rented it from the library. And yeah, I will definitely be rereading it at some point, and it's definitely a book that I would recommend. So if any of this sounded interesting to you, I would highly recommend it. Something I should note that it touches on um, because of David's interest and Ada's interest is um, technology. And I should also mention that most of the book takes place in the 80s. We do see some glimpses into their future. So we get some current times as well, but most of the story is the 80s. Um, so we get to see technology grow and change as well. So there's a little bit of that in there as well as far as a the theme, which I totally forgot that I could mention because that just, I mean, that's just something that's there throughout the entire story and it's not a huge spoiler or anything like that. All right, so that was my review of The Unseen World, clearly. I really like this book and I would be very curious to hear your thoughts and feelings on this book. If you have qualms with the book, I'd be really curious to see what they are, especially since I rated this so highly. Um, I'm always curious to find out uh, what your reading experience was of this and if we feel the same way or not. So please let me know in the comments below. And as always, I just want to thank you for watching this video and until next time.